Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be doing a video today in the backyard comparing the Russian Soviet VDV paratrooper canteen set and the USGI canteen set. So sit back and enjoy the review. Okay, so let's get started with this. First thing I want to say is I want to apologize for all the noise that's coming from the highway over there. I'm in my backyard. There's nothing I can do about all the noise. So um, I apologize up front for that. So this question, this uh, video comes from a question that was sent to me by YouTuber Red Stick Rant. Okay, and uh, he, he or she wanted to know the difference in size between the pot here and and the VDV and the canteen cup in this set okay so that's what we're going to try to do during this video okay so uh, many of you know about the USGI there's nothing I can really tell you here uh, there's many accessories for this of course uh, one being the, the cover okay different canteens you can get them in plastic like this this plastic one stainless steel there's uh, aftermarket lids that are available okay that are not military issue and of course there's stoves things like this all right and there's even um, another type of cover I don't have here here's a this is the Molly 2 this is a Molly 2 but this is one in woodland you can get them in ACU and desert just different colors so it makes it really nice all right um, the, uh, the canteen cup can be butterfly like this one. Many of you have seen these. This one in here is the L handle. This is a 1944 canteen cup with the L handle that attaches like this. So many of you know about these, okay? All right, uh, this is stainless steel. The butterfly one is stainless steel, but then I also have one that's made in 1945, probably late 1945, that is aluminum. Okay, so you can see it's got a rolled edge. Um, and on the bottom, EA Company 1945. So you can get these in different types. All right, so for this review, uh, I'm going to keep it strictly military surplus okay so this cup with this military stove that I have attached there and this plastic canteen that's what we're going to compare with the VDV okay so this guy I, I did a video on a while back probably two or three years ago um, one of my first videos I did so when it, it when you watch it if you do watch it Please be gentle with me in the comments. I'll put a link to that up here in the corner so you can see that. And it'll also be in the description. But it has a standard um, canvas cover that's all drab. One single button and a flap. And the whole set comes out like so. Okay, and then on the back of the cover, most of you have already seen these, but... You know, you can unbutton this flap here and attach it to equipment, or you can slip it on a belt. So it's, it's a really nice little cover for what it is, okay? This guy is nice because it has a cup that comes off with a handle. Canteen. And the pot. Okay, so let's... Many of you already know about the... The USGI stuff, they, the cups hold around uh, a little bit more than three cups all the way to the rim, okay? Fill it up with water. But on here, I'll just do a little quick review. This pot, filled all the way to the top, holds four cups of water. It has a large, very heavy-duty bale handle that folds underneath this way. Or stays straight up that way to keep it out of the fire, okay? This holds about uh, two and three quarter cups filled all the way to the rim. All right. And it comes with its own lid. 
see you can not the cup but the pot has its own lid whenever you put the cup on top it becomes the lid also and it locks into place like this there now it's it's together okay nice set okay and the canteen is about a quart or about a liter okay right around it filled up to the bottom of the neck um this set like this with the canvas cover weighs one pound 6.7 ounces all together with the canteen empty okay so the whole set's made of aluminum okay and then um, the set that we are comparing to which is this guy I'm not um, just keeping it strictly military with a plastic canteen and this cover is very close in weight it weighs one pound 4.6 ounces empty okay so they're pretty comparable in weight okay they're about the same uh, it's whenever you add these things like the lid or a, a stainless steel stove like this that where it gets a little more heavier okay um, so some of the things I would say are advantages is pot would handle compared to the USGI okay uh, a cup that can sit on here and be the lid also and it locks okay and you have an aluminum canteen which you know you would have to be in dire straits but uh, if you needed to boil more water you could take this cap off the uh, chain has a link here you could spread apart where's it at mine's right here you can spread that link apart with your knife or something and you can set this right in the fire and purify water if you need to whereas with this setup you can't put this in the fire okay with a plastic one but uh, that can be fixed with if you can find a good stainless steel one like this one made in 1944 that fixes that problem if that's important to you okay another option okay so uh, so for my viewer who wanted to see the difference in the sizes of the pots and the cup here we go right here okay the obviously this one's larger this one holds almost three cups this one holds four to the rim okay and you can see the size difference in tall okay so let me set it back up so you can see when the set's assembled with the cup which ones are with the canteens so let's put this in there this in here you can still see with all that stuff in there how much taller the USGI one is still okay so that's basically my comparison it really depends on what you like I mean this being aluminum is a no-go for a lot of people that makes it no good okay and a lot of people swear by uh, that uh, aluminum doesn't do as well in the fire which I've never had any trouble with it you just got to keep it full of something you can't put it in there empty and they'll go with stainless steel and there's nothing wrong with that this this set is just as good it just depends on your needs and your uses okay and what you believe is the best okay so i hope uh for red stick rant that this is a video that make that um kind of helps out with the size so you can see the difference so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take the VDV set, because I haven't had it out in a while, and I'm going to cook up a little something. So we'll be right back. Okay, so what I thought we would do to utilize this VDV set again is cook up a little sausage and rice. I got a little bit of sausage here that my wife made inside today. Some carrots, celery, and green pepper and some wild rice mix okay we're going to make that in the vdv set over the fire then using the um u.s canteen set make a little bit of hot chocolate with my german 
coffee mug that I have here, okay? Because it's getting a little cold out here. The sun's starting to go down. So first thing we're going to do, start with a little bit of olive oil in our pot. These little Stanley sets, I've said it many times. Little flats, they hold oil very good. And I got olive oil in here. Put a little bit in here. Just enough to coat the bottom. Move it around. So we get the whole, everything coated in the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to add our sausage to it. And take it over to the fire. Ooh, it's even got marshmallows in it. <laughs> Not very bushcrafty. Time to add the vegetables. Flamed up there. Oh, yeah. A little bit of Everglades seasoning. It's like an all seasoning we find here in Florida. Looking better.
Okay, now we're going to add a cup of water to cook our rice. Okay, so we can set this down here without turning over. Get you in a better view so you can see. Okay, we're going to bring this to a boil before we add our rice. So I think what I want to do is put this on and when I see steam come out of the, the edge here then I'll know it's boiling. There we go. Those coals ought to bring it up to boil pretty fast. Okay, see the steam shooting out of the side right there? Looks like smoke, but it's really steam. The water's boiling. I'm going to take it off now and add our rice. Right here, so you can see. Okay, let's carefully open up this bale handle. Oh, yeah. We'll add our rice now. There you go. So This lid back on. Put it back over here on the fire. Here we go. And then let that rice finish up. We'll have to check on it every once in a while to see if to see how far along it is because you can't see in there. Okay, it's been a few minutes here. Let's take this thing off and see what we got. Find a little piece of ground. Uh oh, knock my fork off. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Steam's burning me. <laughs> no water left down in there. Let's have a taste, see if the rice is done. Oh yeah, it's done. Let's get it over to the back of the truck. Okay, so let's get a little bit over into our dish there. There's some of the sausage my wife made in the house. Wow. Probably could eat it right out of this pot here. But you know I have to utilize every piece of the kit. <laughs> I did use this as a lid though. I forgot about that. Dang it. But that's okay. I can wash dishes. Yes, sir. Look at that. Wow. Looks good. Thanks for watching today. This comparison video of the Russian VDV 
paratrooper kit and the USGI canteen set. They're both very good sets. Uh, they they have many uses out there, um, except for maybe ultralight hiking. <laughs> They're much too heavy for that. But uh, you know, hopefully, if you were kind of debating between the two, maybe this video helped you out. And uh, thanks to my viewer, uh, Red Stick Rant, for posting that question. And I hope that this video answers all your questions. So. Thanks for watching today. Please subscribe. Please uh, comment if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say. I, I try to answer all those and give me a thumbs up. So uh, thanks for watching another one today and have a great one.